Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the episode today. This is The Political Machine 2020 Season 1 Episode 7. And in today's episode, I wanted to continue along our top four journey with vice uh, presidential selections as it relates to the Democratic nomination process. And so today, we will be playing uh, our AI versus AI matchup of the mayor of Atlanta. She's certainly got a lot of notoriety here these last few weeks. Uh, Keisha Lance Bottoms. Uh, she became uh, sort of on the uh, front lines there as uh, notable. Uh, she's been sued by the uh, governor of Georgia for her mask mandate. Uh, so very interesting uh, position there for Keisha Lance Bottoms. But we're going to go ahead and select her. And we will also be playing uh, with none other than our 45th president. Donald Trump. So without further ado, let's get started. And already we can start to see what a Georgia uh, uh, a Georgia Democratic nominee would do uh, to the South. Uh, clear that uh, Georgia already has some strong uh, minority appeal there with Keisha Lance Bottoms. Uh, if she were elected in the simulation, she would be the first African American female president and as well the first female president of the United States. Uh, so a very historic election. And then on the same token, if Donald Trump were re-elected in the simulation, he would bring uh, a very historic value to the election as well, becoming uh, the oldest president um, after he would then leave that four-year term. Uh, so very interesting uh, to see how this 21-week cycle would roll out. Already week two, we are starting to see quite a bit of, uh, you know, new campaign headquarters popping up in between New York all the way to California. We're starting to see Donald Trump spending a lot of time in Georgia as he's trying to solidify that undecided, uh, that undecided vote. However, I should point out that uh, that does leave open the Rust Belt for Keisha Lance Bottoms should she lose Georgia, should she, uh, you know, not necessarily campaign in the South, but more more so campaign in that Midwestern region, uh, she would definitely see herself much more to gain than those 16 electoral votes in Georgia. <laughs> Week four, we do come into our first town halls, and they are in the Pacific region, Idaho for Keisha Lance Bottoms and Nevada for the president, both putting in campaign headquarters in the respected states. The president finally pulling that trigger there, putting that uh, campaign headquarters there in Georgia, while well, Keisha Lance Bottoms puts one up in Michigan. Uh, definitely a, a, a deciding factor here. I think we are seeing that shifts start to happen from 2016 into this 2020 simulation here. You know, the Democrats spending more time in the Midwest, the Republicans spending more time in the South. You can see that they're evident with Donald Trump having a town hall there and the first ideology point being purchased by Keisha Lance Bottoms and the president. Um, very. Uh, reducing the wealth gap and Amer America first, taxing the rich for Keisha Lance Bottoms. These are very democratic uh, ideologies. And with, you know, Georgia being purple, it's week seven. Uh, you know, this is clearly anybody's game with 11% undecided. Um, but with universal health care ideologies, that's going to help uh, the mayor of Atlanta secure New England for her um, and help. I, I would assume narrow down that 11% undecided as we are in week 8. Looking on to week nine, we already start to see uh, either strong 
democratic states or strong republican states. And really, the only strong republican state is where Keisha Lance Poppins and the president are uh, in this week. Texas, 55-36 with 9% undecided. It's starting to make a little bit of sense why Keisha Lance Bottoms would have built a Democratic headquarters in Texas. Uh, so we'll definitely be keeping an eye on that throughout the simulation and more. Looking at Kentucky, it is uh, anybody's race there. A slight advantage for the president uh, with his new ideology purchases, but uh, you know, definitely losing support there in Missouri as well as Oklahoma which is very surprising, being that the president was uh, recently doing a, uh, in real life, a, uh, you know, rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma, um, you know, very controversial at the time. Uh, but there he goes again with his new ideology points, and we also have our very first vice presidential nominee calls. Our very first vice presidential call is from the Democratic campaign. Uh, looks like Amy Klobuchar has been selected to be the vice presidential uh, candidate for Mayor Lance Bottoms of Atlanta, the Democratic nominee for the Democratic Party. It will be Lance Bottoms and Klobuchar. And for the Republicans, uh, it looks like Donald Trump has selected the former governor of Massachusetts and the current senator of Utah. Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney has been chosen to be the vice presidential pick for Donald Trump. Donald Trump has selected Mitt Romney. It will be Donald Trump and Mitt Romney, Keisha Lance Bottoms, and Amy Klobuchar. The Democratic campaign is spending no time. They are wasting no time, rather, going to Virginia to try to uh, definitely secure that 8% undecided there going to be very difficult with that campaign headquarters from the Republicans being set up there. Looks like we have a fixer that has been put into place there in Iowa. Iowa is definitely going to be a key state to look out for. Uh, as you know, the Iowa, uh, you know, elections can be a little bit telling there as we do move into our uh, town halls here. Allies paying their fair share coming in for the president. And uh, Ms. Lance Bottoms not necessarily using any ideology points in that week. However, coming in with assault weapons banned, that is definitely going to uh, help enthusiast the uh, Republicans, uh, make them uh, definitely want to uh, come out and vote for the president and uh, Senator Romney. Uh, definitely going to be using that to their advantage to get out those uh, votes. But I do want to point your attention out here to the Pacific North all the way up to the Midwestern Northern regions. Uh, if you take a look, Keisha Lance Bottoms has put uh, town halls all the way from a, uh, you know, the Canadian border, if you, if you like, all the way from, uh, you know, New Hampshire to Washington State. So she's definitely trying to attract that northern vote, definitely trying to get out that uh, more liberal wing of that party, being that she has more of uh, Biden relevancy. Um, yeah, I would have expected more of a uh, Joe Biden vice president, for example, or an Al Gore vice president than, uh, you know, Senator Klobuchar. Senator Klobuchar being more, uh, you know, not necessarily able to have a proven record uh, of, you know, solidifying the party and centerizing the base. Uh, so very interesting that she did pick uh, Senator Klobuchar, um, but, you know, nonetheless, 48-45, now 7% undecided. Uh, as we do look into week 17, I think it's important that we take a look at the big board. If we uh, did call the election, uh, it would be 262 for Lance Bottoms and 276 for the president. That's definitely telling as it is 48-46 uh, in Lance Bottoms' favor. However, it is the Electoral College that does elect the President of the United States. The popular vote uh, is definitely something that's come into quite a bit of contention, as we've seen in both the 2000 and 2016 elections, respectively. Uh, you know, Al Gore and Hillary Clinton both losing the electoral uh, win, however, securing the popular vote. Uh, so, hoping that in this case we will not see that, uh, but we could. 
uh, certainly something to look out for as the south is looking loomingly red uh, for uh, Lance Bottoms here and again the Rust Belt looking very purple uh, as we move into uh, week 19. Looking here in week 20, it is more purple throughout the Midwest and deep red. I mean, let's look at Georgia for a moment, 5146 in favor of the president. However, when you move down in Florida, 5047, that's Broward County, that's Palm Beach, that's that area that usually comes out heavy for the Democrats, not necessarily too enthusiastic to come to the uh, polls here. Addressing climate change uh, is you know, going to be the last ideology for Lance Bottoms. As we do move into week 21, it is a reminder here that uh, you know 270 is the electoral votes that are needed to win 270 as we move in. We are starting to receive results, live results coming in from New England. Lance Bottoms securing a strong victory so far, and New England taking it all. New York fully Lance Bottoms. Pennsylvania goes to Trump. That's a hold from 16. A hold. A hold in Pennsylvania as Donald Trump hopes to secure his re-election. However, Florida will also hold to the president. Georgia, Lance Bottoms' home state, will go to Trump as well as Ohio. Ohio, definitely a crucial Republican uh, stronghold. Michigan, Michigan will go to Lance Bottoms. Lance Bottoms has won Michigan. That is a flip from 2016. Hillary Clinton could not secure Wisconsin or Michigan. Lance Bottoms does both. Lance Bottoms took over Wisconsin and Michigan, holding up that blue wall for the Democratic Party once again, proving that the Democrats do understand that Midwestern voter. They do understand, and they are there, and they want to assist in creating those blue-collar green jobs uh, that are so uh, crucial to that uh, to that you know that region of the country. 244, 183, 270, the number needed to win. This could not be a closer election. 264, 183. It is looking like the president of the United States will be reelected for a second term. Donald Trump will move on as the uh, 45th president of the United States, 277-261. Alaska coming in full force for the president tonight. Lance Bottoms could not defeat the president, and even though she did have a strong majority of voters, she failed to garner uh, that electoral college victory that was so desperately needed in 2016 and so desperately needed in the year 2000. Lance Bottoms lost even though she used way more ideology points than the president, and she even spent more money than the president, but that doesn't mean it can buy her votes. So there you guys go, 261 for Keisha Lance Bottoms. Let me know what you guys thought of that video today and what you guys would like to see uh, in future videos by commenting in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like today's video and subscribe if you haven't had the chance to do so already. Um, and I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in today, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.